It has been a long time since I cooked mi goreng mama for my family. Today I'm cooking a special mi goreng mama, or you can call it a premium mi goreng. This recipe is for four to five servings. The ingredients needed are one packet of 450 grams of yellow mi or egg noodles. 150 gram of mustard green or savi, washed with the stems and leaves separated. 150 grams of bean sprout, one cup of vegetable fritters or chucho sayo, one chicken eggs, five cloves of garlic chopped, 200 grams of chicken slices, one green chili, one red chili, one block of firm tofu, cut it into small cubes, and one cup of fish cake slice. Next. Let's take a look at the seasonings. Half tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of curry powder, two tablespoon of tomato sauce, one tablespoon of chili paste, two tablespoon of crispy fried shallots, two pieces of calamansi cut into half, quarter teaspoon of pepper, half teaspoon of salt, one and a half tablespoon of thick soy sauce, two tablespoon of oyster sauce, and one tablespoon of light soy sauce. Start with blanching the yellow meat. I have some hot boiling water here. Put in the noodles. Use a spatula to slowly spread the noodles. When the noodle get in contact with hot water, it will slowly loosen up and separate. Blanch it for about 1 minute. After 1 minute, switch off the heat, strain the noodle and set it aside. Next, marinate the chicken. Add in all the salt, marinate it and put it aside. Let's cook. Switch on the heat to high. Add 3 tablespoons of cooking oil and wait for about 1 minute for the oil to get hot. Add in all the garlic. Give it a stir until garlic is crispy and fragrant. Remove some of the crispy garlic for later use. Put it aside. Next, add in the marinated chicken. Give it a stir until chicken has changed to a pale color. Add in all the tofu cubes and fish cake. Give it a stir for about 2 minutes until all the ingredients are cooked. After 2 minutes, add in half of the light soy sauce. Stir until ingredients are evenly coated. Switch off the heat and remove everything from the pan and set it aside. In the same pan, we still have some balance of the oil. I will take some out and leave about 1 tablespoon of the oil. Switch on the heat, put in the egg. Add half of the light soy sauce. Give it a stir until it is well mixed and the egg is cooked. Alright, the egg is cooked. Remove it from the pan as well. Put it aside. Next, add in the oil and the mustard green stem. Give it a stir until the stem becomes lightly soft. Reduce the heat to low. Next, Add in the yellow meat. Spread it evenly around the pan. Add in all of the seasoning, the balance of the light soy sauce, pepper, curry powder, chili paste, thick soy sauce, oyster sauce, tomato sauce and add in the sugar. Now we increase the heat to high. Give it a stir for about 45 seconds or until seasonings are well combined. Alright, all the yellow meat coated with all the seasonings and the color is now darker. It should be okay now. Add in all of the cooked tofu, fish cake, cooked eggs, fried garlic and bean sprout. Give it a couple of stirs. Add in the savi leaves. Give it a stir for about 2 minutes or until the bean sprout and savi leaves are soft and cooked. Alright, after about 1 minute, add in the chili, fried fritter and continue to stir until well mixed. After 45 seconds, the mee goreng looks really yummy. Now give it a taste. Wow, so delicious. More seasoning can be added at this time. But for this, it is really perfect. Switch off the heat, add in the crispy fried shallots for a lovely fragrance. 
Give it a couple of stirs. That is all. We are done. Delicious mi goreng mama. This is best served immediately once it is cooked. So I will dish out and serve. Before eating, squeeze half of the calamansi and mix. Wow, smells so good. Really delicious. The noodles cook perfectly. Lovely fragrance of curry powder and the fried shallots. There is so much going on in every bite. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified on the next simple home cook recipe. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye.